Hi, my name is Rich Shoemaker, and I have a YouTube channel. Orange is the new ball. When I started, uh, and last week I pointed at that picture right there, that's where I learned how to contact juggle. And I was in the middle of nowhere. And this is what I used. It takes time to learn this, people. This isn't something you're gonna get in a day. I'm not gonna lie to you and say you'll be the best ever tomorrow. If you put the time in and you have fun, you'll be way better than I am in no time at all. Hopefully you have an orange. I actually went out, I got two oranges. And something that will come up is you have two hands. And I don't know why, but you're gonna need to try it on both sides. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your orange. I want you to take your palm. I want you to put the orange in your palm. Can you do that? Did you do that? You're an expert already. So take your other hand and your other palm. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand in front of your other hand. Now wait for it. It's gonna roll. And that's all I want you to do to start with. That's it. The round is moving forward. So take the round and go forward. Now wait for it. If you can go forward, what direction are you thinking you can go? Backwards. Yes, it's backward. When you go backwards, you have a little spot right here. That's where I usually aim my other hand to hit. So I'm gonna go like that. And then it's just gonna drop right into the hand. So far, we've gone forward and we've gone backward. Pretty straightforward so far. There's more, and that's what we'll do now. And I bet you, you can't figure it out side to side. I want you to take the orange, and I want you to roll it up to the tips of your fingers, like right in here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the side. Now you're gonna take your other hand, and you're gonna put it next to it. Now what I don't want you to do is that. Don't overlap it like that. Pull, 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 pull. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go pinky, I mean <laughs> index to middle to ring to pinky. Now watch it. You're gonna treat that like a gap. Mind the gap. And you're just gonna go like that. Now wait for it. You're gonna bring your other hand around and the same thing, mind the gap. And that's it. Now you can go under or you can go over. Back to the orange. Back to the lesson. Palm, palm. Forward, backward. Wait for it. Side to side. You're an expert. The next step is going to be the part that separates the women from the girls, the men from the boys. And what it is called is back of the hand. I like to call it both, B-O-T-H, back of the hand. Why do I keep doing numbers like that? You're going to need to get a spot to put in this case, the round object known as an orange on the back of your hand. And what I recommend is you depress your middle finger. It's called a trough. Lots of people do it other ways. And I recommend you explore other ways. Don't just assume I know what I'm talking about. Explore it for yourself. What I want you to do is put the orange on the back of your hand. Now, if it's more comfortable for you to use two fingers, a lot of other contact jugglers use two fingers. So explore what feels more comfortable to you. I was taught three fingers was the way to go. So that's what I do. And that's how I've gotten used to it. Now, what you wanna do is take it and place it there. And then move it up and down and all around. I want you to try that for a few seconds. Just move it up and down, all around. Try not to hit the hat. This brings up an important safety tip. When I hit that hat, should have known it was there. Be aware of your surroundings. Know where you are. Give yourself some space. Do not, repeat, do not call me next week and say, hey, Rich, I broke something. Most beginners, I recommend playing or enjoying yourself over a bed. So a bed sits like right here. If you practice over a bed and it falls, look at how far you have to go, like three, four inches. If it goes all the way to the floor, you have to pick it up over and over again. Bibble, bobble, fibble, fobble. Wow, I don't know how that worked out. If you drop it or if you, uh, 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 I call that a bibble, a bobble, a fibble, a fobble. Please take 30 seconds, people, and move it up 
and down and all around. It's just because you're not used to holding on the back of your hand. Not many things get done with the back of the hand. I'm looking at you, pimp slap. You don't write with the back of your hand. You don't play ping pong. You don't play baseball. You don't catch a ball like this, people. It's very awkward. So it takes time. Up and down, all around, 30 seconds. If you fibble, fobble, bibble, bobble, or drop. It's fine to drop. It means you're learning. If you don't drop, if you don't make mistakes, odds are good you're not learning. Wait for it. You have two hands. Two hands. And I don't know why. But make sure to try both back of the hand on both sides. Up, down, all around. Up, down, all around. Welcome to today's spotlight ball, or round object, or sphere, known as an orange. Go check out contactjuggling.com. That's where all of the flow of the round stuff's gonna come up. Flow of the round stands for floater. That's because I can make round objects float on my hand. And this is an orange, and I'm making it float on my hand. Now, over time, I've learned a lot of different things that's the whole point to these workshops is for me to teach you what I can. Back of the hand, up and down, all around. Now, we're going to put them both together. You're going to roll into the back of the hand. See how that worked? And then you're going to roll back out. And then you're going to roll into the other back of the hand. And then you're going to roll back out. And then you're going to roll sideways into the back of the hand. <gasps> I did it on the back of my hand roll. That's an advanced trick. This week's Flow of the Round Workshop, sponsored by Orange, Orange is the new ball, is straightforward. You take the round object, otherwise known as an orange, you walk it forward, you walk it backwards, you walk it to the sides, and then you roll it into the back of the hand. See how that works? I'm getting better at it both back of the hand and make sure that you try it on both sides fibble fobble bibble bobble drop up and down all around 30 seconds if you have a question comment concern i counted to three but then lost one somewhere just post it up on the flow of the round web website if you have twitter tweet me at hashtag f l o t r and I'll check out the message. You have to understand when I learned, very first time I learned, James Ernest gave me one lesson. Actually, he didn't even give me one lesson. He gave us all one lesson. There was a small group of us. I saw him performing with a crystal ball, a legitimate crystal ball over con concrete and rocks. I was blown away, legitimately blown away. I had to learn it. From the first time I saw it, I had to learn it. Didn't even know what it was called yet. I had to learn it. He called it contact, Joe, and he gave everybody a lesson. Uh, I didn't get it. I'll just be honest. I, I was blown away. Totally couldn't comprehend. And I said, hey, you going to give that lesson again? Sure. About another 20, 25 minutes. I'll give that lesson again. I went nowhere for the next 20, 25 minutes. Drooling, waiting to see this lesson again. He did it a second time. Yes! Still didn't understand completely. Still had parts of it I wanted to know more about. Still. So I walked over and I said, James, please, 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 can you give me that lesson again? And he said, I will, if you pay me. And at this point, you have to understand people didn't have much money, didn't have much of anything. And I was like, man, I I'm going to figure out a way to pay this guy. And, and, and he said the thing that, that made my day. He said, pay me. And I cried, a little tear, because I didn't have any money, with dinner pay you with dinner, I'm in. I took him back to our campsite. We fed him dinner. He gave me the same lesson the third time. And you know what? That third time made it sink into my head like it hadn't before. Before we go, since I did get two oranges, I'm going to do a quick little thing with two oranges because I can. You have two hands. Two hands! And I don't know why. Make sure to try it on both sides. My name is Rich Shoemaker. You've been amazing. Thank you again for checking everything out. I will see you next Thursday live on Facebook. Why am I holding up two fingers? Peace, man. Peace. Don't tell anybody I should.
Shoujo.